If you want to design 3D printed hoop, there is many ways how to do that. In this video, I will show you how to design different type of hooks. One of my favorite hook, clips hook. I designed that in Fusion. It's made from four different bodies. We use the hinge and core spring to connect hook and hook holder. You can see it here more clearly. There is a hook on the front side. You can hang anything there. Then I created teeth to make it more easier to close on your object that you can hold it easier. When you open the clips, the spring will push the hook down. We removed support. I printed flat. It's more stronger and you use less support. We connect the parts. We put the spring on the holder. Then we put the hook on the top. So the spring will be between the two bodies. Then we connect all bodies with a hinge. We need to pass connector through all the holes. You might need to push the hook up to hold the pressure from the spring. That can make it more easier to push the connector inside the holes. Now it's done, you can see the coil, it works so perfectly. Also the hook teeth, you can see it here, it printed so good. Now we just need to fix the hook on the wall. I use a double side tape to stick it on. This hook you can hang things from outside, I use towel, you can hang it outside. And also you can hang it from inside, so that the clips will press the towel that it will hang. If you want to print that design you can get STL5 for free, you will find it in my Patreon. Next we have gravity hook. This kind of hook you can use it for towel, paper, picture. I designed that body with a hole on the top that you can put glass marble inside from that hole. Now you can see it designed more clearly. So when you drop the ball from the top, normally it will go down. There is an empty space on the top of the ball, so you can lift up the ball on the top. You can see it here. I designed this gravity hook that you can 3D print it in one body and you don't need to use any support. The glass marble was 25 mm. I created a hole on the top with 26 mm. You just need to put the ball inside. You can see you can move the ball easily. Then we just install the hook on the wall. First I want to try to hang a paper on the hook. And it works so good. It's so easy to remove it too. Next I try to hang towel. And again it works so good. Just when you need to remove towel, you, you can push the ball up that you remove it easily. Next design we have wings hook. This kind of hook you can use it in kitchen bathroom. You can hang towel from the corner side. This design it's open from the top side. That make it more easy to slide towel between the wings. On the downside it's closed that keeps towel up. We just print the body then we install it on the wall. Then you can hold the towel from the corner and you slide it between the wings so it fit there. To remove towel you just need to lift towel up. Next we have sliding hook that you can slide the hook from place to another. Here you can see it more clearly. I designed a hook holder it fit inside the hook that can hold the hook easily. This kind of hook is very useful, especially when you need to remove or remove the hook. For example, you have plant, you can move plant from place to another place that can get more light from the sun. This hook holder, you can add more bodies, depends how many you need. Then you can slide it from left to right or from right to left. After printing, we try it and tolerance it works so good. The holder fits inside the hook. Then we just install the hook holder on the wall. When you put the hook on the holder, it's better to put it from the right side. On the right side, there is an angle, it makes it more smoother to slide it from there. You can see it works so good. Also, you can add more bodies and the quantity that you want. So we can add one more. This slide method, you can use it with other things too, not only with the hooks. For example, last video I used to hold spices. Same idea, but just I use it. Spices holder, not hooks. Next, we have a simple hook. I design it in angle shape. This kind of hook, it's easy to design, fast to print, strong, and also it's very simple. I printed this body flat, it make it more stronger. 
you can see it here. This kind of hook is more common in minimalism interior design. With the IDLS it's more. I think it's beautiful and simple and it do the job what it have to do. That's the most important thing. Next we have thread hook. This thread hook is made from three different bodies. I will move the bodies that you can see it more clear. But when you turn the bolt thread to the right you will press this method is more used in woodworking clamps. We just need to print and check tolerance. So we can see it here more clear. It's working so good. We put thread bolt first. Then we put the nut. So then you can press. There is a line there that it gives more fraction, it's more easier for fingers to open and close. Now we just need to install our hook on the wall and we try it. You can hang the hanger inside, you can see it. Also you can use thread bolt to press the things that it can hang. So you can see it here. Also you can hang it from outside so there is space there you can put it next we have a magnetic hook this magnetic hook it's designed from two different bodies inside these two bodies there is a magnet inside you can see it here there is space inside so when you print you will pause the print and put magnet then you continue print on that and there is something you should to consider that how strong is your magnet we just need to send it to the printer and when it's ready we will pause and put the magnet then we continue print on it then we repeat the same thing on other body we just pause and put the magnet and we continue print on it it gets ready we will try it so we can see it works so good i use it magnet what it can hold 21 kilo so be sure about what kind of magnet how strong it is you can see there is a hook outside you can hang a towel on the outside hook it's very easy to remove also you can use a magnetic method where you put towel between two bodies and you will hang it on that this method is more common in a kitchen where people use a magnet to hold things on the fridge. Next hook what we have open and close hook. This design is made from two different bodies. That you can open the middle node and use it as a hook. So you can see it here. When you open this is its maximum it's 45 degrees. So you can't open it more. Then I try to give it kind of artistic touch that it's not boring. I use it keyboard or piano. I use it note C, D, E. Of course you can design it in many ways. Just the idea here that you open and close the hook. So when you print that we have two bodies filament and cutter. We use filament as kind of hinge. We put it inside for the holes. Then we just cut the filament. Now we can see it works so good and it stops at 45 degrees. Then we just install the hook on the wall. Then we will hang the towel. So we can see that and it works so good and I think it's beautiful so it's not that boring next design what we have is hanging hooks it's made from three different bodies we have a hook holder and the next body it's the hook if you can see there is a hole on the hook I designed that to tie the hook easily. To tie that hook we can use a bolt thread. 
you can see this bolt thread it fit inside the hook that you can tie. I try to explain that by doing. First we install a hook holder on the wall. Then we put the hook inside the hook holder. Now it's ready we can't hang anything. We can hang towel. It's very easy to use and removable. For example you can remove that hook and you can use it on the door. Also you can use it everywhere where you can hang it. It's not necessary just door. Then you can hang towel or clothes or whatever you want. This is it's very easy because you can remove it like without making any holes or using double side tape. In some cases if you try to use a hook you can have a big gap. To fix that problem we can use bolt thread. You just need to tie the bolt thread that the hook can't move. You can see it here more clear. So it's ready. And the door can close easily. Now it's ready we can hang the towel. And it's done. I know there is a lot of different kind of hooks. I tried to show you some of it. I hope this video it will help you. See you again. Thank you.